Hello, this is another Squarespace do-it-yourself tutorial, and this one's on how to uh, switch up the main navigation for the Fulton template. Uh, if you're using the non-overlay nav, so if you have the links like this, they show up centered um, with the logo behind them when you're not using the overlay nav. Sometimes, depending upon the site, they might show up down here, but usually they're up here. Anyway, they're kind of weird to have centered around your logo, especially if you have an odd number of links. Um, like three pages other than your main or other than your logo. It's a pretty unbalanced, doesn't look too nice. So we want to switch it to something uh, a little more traditional like this. This is also the Fulton template, but with a custom header. Uh, so you've got logo left, nav right, as most uh, sites do, and then when you get down to tablet size or less, uh, we switch it up to the overlay nav that Fulton usually goes with. Or actually, we just leave the overlay nav that's already there. If you notice that this one by default has the same thing. So how do we go about getting right nav, left logo? Uh, basically, you don't have to do anything in your pages. This is all in design, custom CSS. I'm going to open this up a little bigger. And we'll just go right here. So Fulton breaks at 760 pixels. And what that means, it means it's got a, a media breakpoint so that if your screen is smaller than 700, or sorry, 770 pixels, um, the navigation will change to the overlay nav. If the screen is larger than 770 pixels, it will um, show you the regular nav. And actually, I should explain that that only happens if you have this box unchecked. I always use overlay nav, um, which this isn't a bad thing. I've built sites that uh, that use the overlay nav, and it's something that a lot of a lot of sites are going to. Uh, especially if you have a banner image, it kind of allows you to show more of it, and people are just used to this with phones. So that's not a bad deal. But if you want a traditional nav like this, this is how you'd go about it. So you uncheck. I always use overlay nav. That will show you your links. Come over into your custom CSS. And basically do something like this. So then we're 770. Uh, so media screen and minimum width 770. So that's saying anything in between this bracket and this last bracket is only going to show above. 770 pixels and only on the screen so this won't affect print at all if somebody prints your website out so they're saying let's make it the header a fixed header um, with zero padding uh, header inner we're going to toss some padding on there and this all comes from this little script right here in your inspector so you've got your header, your header inner, um, you got your site title. Now, this is the reason that this doesn't look exactly like this because we're using a site title and not a logo. Um, if we switch and add a logo up here real quick. Now you'll notice we've got left logo, right nav. And it's centered, everything's good. So that's if we're using a logo. Um, I'll adjust this to take into account the site title uh, as well here as we go through. But I'll walk you through exactly what it's doing. So we're saying your header is fixed. Here's your header. Fixed means that. Um, and this is something you don't have to do, but this is something I like to do. Fixed means that as you scroll down the page, your header stays at the top, basically. 
or it stays so that it's always visible. It's a nice usability thing. Uh, we get rid of the padding, um, and the reason that we did that is because I tossed a border on underneath the fixed header um, so that you can see it on white. So that's not something you have to do. And then I brought that padding in on the inner um, to make it like the header should be. So this this part right here isn't super important to the um, left and right, but here's where we're gonna wanna do. So we don't have a logo wrapper um, or a logo image anyways. Well, we do now, but let's change it. So we don't use one, oops. So we don't have one. There we go. So instead of logo wrapper, we're gonna go with site title wrapper. And that's an ID, so we're gonna need the hashtag. And I'm actually just gonna add it to this site title wrapper. And there we go. So that's left, these are right. Um, and then we've got header nav here. So how this is working is basically using relative positioning, saying that um, your header is gonna be left zero, which is gonna slap it to the right, to the left and edge. The reason it's not going all the way to the edge is because of the 30 pixels of padding that I added here. That's also the reason it's kind of a bit off the top is because of the 20 pixels top and bottom. Uh, and I've locked that width to a max of 25% of whatever the screen is. So as the screen gets smaller, if this is really long, it'll start cutting off and wrapping down to the second. Um, level, your logo, if you have a logo, would start shrinking because um, it's going to be a max of 25%. And I just do that so that you have room for four or five navigation links there. Uh, and then your header nav, well, so we're getting rid of the margin that used to be around it. This kind of makes it in the same playing space as this. Uh, where text align right is going to kick it all the way over to the left side or the right side rather than it being centered how it was. Um, display inline block, that's going to tell each one of these to float in line and behave as a block rather than a piece of text. And the reason we did that is so that we can add some padding onto the sides of them to separate them. Um, with 75%, so this is not each one of the things, it's the main, or sorry, the, the inline block is for this main thing, so that's saying that inline block here of 25%, inline block here of 75%, match them together and you've got your 100% width that locks this to the right side and this to the left side. So, and then your main nav wrapper is what holds this within your header nav. So, just to visualize this. So yellow is our 25, blue is our 70, and we didn't set this to a width. Um, so it's going to go 100% width of the main nav header. Um, it just gets another level of specificity, which is good. That's why I went with that rather than doing this on the main nav header. Um, so we've got text line right, locks those to the right, and then any div within that, which are the divs surrounding the nav. Um, so we've got header nav, main nav wrapper, and within that we've got nav ID, and then a div for each one of these um, nav links. So we're taking the margins off of those so that we lock them a bit closer together. Uh, and also taking the margin off gets is super important because it gets rid of this left and right margin that normally splits in between the header because there's some JavaScript co code that tells this okay if you're not 
or if this is center and you're splitting links out on each side, like um, before we did this custom part, this is saying, okay, leave enough room for the logo to fit in the middle. So we need margin left and right, zero, super important um, to keep there from being a 300 pixel gap in there, basically. And that's pretty much it for having your nav um, left and right, or having your nav to the right, logo to the left. You could for some weird reason, if you wanted to put logo right and nav left, I guess, although it's pretty unconventional. Um, one other thing that is pretty nice to do. Um, so every basically modern website in the world links the logo or the site title to the homepage. So why would you need a homepage link here? That's something that I don't know why, but Squarespace always has that homepage link. Um, which is pretty unnecessary. So what I usually like to do is I'll always leave that title this home just for SEO reasons, but I always have a little script that I put in. So when it's desktop nav or main nav wrapper and when it's mobile nav or mobile nav wrapper, hide any link that links to home or links to just a slash, um, which is basically another way of saying home. Display none, important. And now we have no home navigation, which gives us room for a little more here and is a little more UX friendly, a little more modern. Um, one thing to note, so this is any ink or link or a tag, href is the address it's going to or the hyperlink reference. Um, so home or href that. So basically, if we went in here and did like this and changed the URL of this page, even just a little bit, well, it's linking back to the, uh, the navigation thing, but if we took off, or sorry, it's, if we took off this, there we go. So since that URL is no longer home, and instead it's home to, So that's going to directly read, oh, I, must, uh, I thought I had it as home too, but either way, that's going to directly read the um, index or the, the URL. Oh, you know why? Because it's an index page and it's the home index page. This is uh, what runs it. Um, but normally, yeah, href, whatever your thing is, um, set it to the same URL as your home page, display none, and that will get rid of your home page. I don't know why I have an extra display none in there. Seems kind of weird. Oops. But that is uh, pretty much how we do that.